it's Amanda and I'm coming to you with what might, I don't know if it'll be a chatty video or if I'll actually like go through it real fast, but I was inspired by Maria and her, um, her top 10 pens I would repurchase. I think she was inspired by Chris. There's a bunch of people, um, doing that have done these lists the last few weeks or whatever. And I decided that I wanted to jump on the bandwagon cause it's fun. It's a fun discussion and it's not swatching ink every day for whatever. So I am going to preface this with the fact that I'm recording this on December 27th. Um, the computer I usually edit my videos on, I've left up at Rumi's mom's house on accident and don't feel like driving three hours round trip to get it. So I'm going to attempt to edit this video on my PC, which I've never done before or haven't in a long, long time and um, hopefully get this up in a timely manner. We're gonna do a top 10 pens that I would repurchase and a top however many, I don't think I'm done compiling the list, possibly top 10 um, uh, pens I would not repurchase because there are a few that I have regrets about or just wouldn't purchase for other reasons. Not necessarily regrets, but just like, anyway reasons. So yeah, so hopefully this goes up in a timely manner. I'm shooting for doing that. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So um, in no particular order, pens that I would repurchase, um, we, we will have a few honorable mentions. Well, like two really, two really, because there's honestly, there's some that I couldn't leave out that I almost left out that I, I was just like, I can't, I can't leave this out. It's too important. So, um, I feel like the most expensive pen that I would repurchase is definitely my Visconti Midnight in Florence. Visconti Homo Sapiens Midnight in Florence. I would also repurchase my Bronze Age. I love both of these pens, but this was a grail pen and, um, like I cried on the internet about it. <laughs> I feel like it's an obvious choice for repurchase. Um, I just love it. I love the material. Um, I actually need to clean this out because it's time to put new ink in it. And the ink that I'm going to put in it, I actually have sitting right here because it usually holds my laptop when I'm working from home and holds my personal laptop because it's such a big giant box. It's the Scribo Noturno Violet Viola. I want to put this in this pen so bad and um, yeah, I just need to clean it out like every other pen. I just realized that most of these pens that are up here, if they have a color, they're purple. That's not why I would pre-purchase them. It's just the pens that I grabbed. Um, but yeah, but this one in specific, I would definitely repurchase again if given, if I had to. If I had to repurchase again, I would. I saved money. I used tax return money. I just, this pen means so much to me that I would have to have it again. Like, it's just so beautiful. It has this, um, it's a medium, it's a palladium nib. It's just, oh, it's freaking stunning. It's really comfortable to hold. It's, I feel like it's not as heavy as my Bronze Age, but the Bronze Age is also so cool because it's made of lava. Like, I would, I would repurchase both of these pens. Um, the only reason I don't have more is because they are so expensive, and, um, there are other colors that I like that I would consider, um, I really love the Chianti one, and I really love the, um, there was a green one too, Flo something in, not Florence, something else. There was a green one that was really pretty too, that I really thought was lovely. Um, but yes, um, it has that hook safe mechanism, which I actually prefer. It seems smoother on this pen than on the Bronze Age, but I just, I adore this pen. I adore this pen. I'm glad that I had the opportunity to get it when I did. Um, I just, I love it. I feel like I need to do some polishing on some of these on the hardware a little bit, but yes, I would definitely repurchase this again. This is definitely the most expensive pen in my collection. I'm going to say it, it, it is, I got it on sale like cause it was used, but it's definitely the most amount of money that I've spent on a pen for sure. A thousand percent. Um, yeah, but I would definitely I would repurchase it in a heartbeat so there's that um the next pen that I would repurchase in a heartbeat um would be my Twisby 580 smoke rose gold 
Um, it's been cleaned out. It still has water and it needs to finish drying. Another, I'm going to give it like an honorable mention sort of thing. Where did I put it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I just moved it. Oh, here. Another honorable mention that I would do is my purple AL. Um, it, this is not the ALR. This is the AL, the one that it came out just before I got into fountain pens. I keep it permanently inked with Amethyst de Laurel from Jerobon. Um, I... I bought this on eBay um, after it was already discontinued. I paid way too much money for it. I would repurchase it again for the price I paid for it. I have never revealed the price that I've paid for it. I won't reveal it <laughs> ever. You can guess all you want. I'm not telling you. Um, but I would repurchase this again at the price I paid for it because I love it so much. Um, but if I had to pick only one this one just is so beautiful. I just love everything about it. I love the I love the rose gold. I love the color of the smoke. I I kind of wish it were solid black like the white was, but I just I love this pen. The nib writes phenomenally. Like I just ugh, everything about it is beautiful. It I have had the same sort of piston problems that Creepy Nibs has talked about. Um but I I would still get it. I just, I, I love it. This is my favorite rose of the rose gold pens. I think of my rose gold Twisbees that I use them, I use this one the most. I use the white mini the most and I use the white eco the most. Um, but this nib writes beautifully. It's just a beautiful aesthetic. Um, I, yeah, I would, I would buy it in a heartbeat again. It was, it was also like the first one that they came out with and that just makes it special somehow. Um, so yeah, so I would definitely repurchase that one with this extra special nod to my nod to my overpriced uh, purple ale. Another pen that I would also repurchase is the Kaveco Sport. Specifically, I would repurchase this one. This is the metallic purple. I'm sorry that I'm showing it. I would repurchase any of my Kaveco Sports, to be honest. Um, at least the plastic ones. I have reservations about some of the AL ones, but just because like there's a smooth one and then there's now these matte ones and I think I, I prefer the matte finish on the ALs. Um, but this one was the pen, this metallic, metallic purple was the pen. Let me turn the light on so you can see it a little better. I don't know if that helps. Oh, that's so bright. Um, I don't know if that helps at all. Um, but this was the pen that got away for the, this was my holy grail pen for the very longest time. I, it came with a medium or a fine nib. I've swapped it out for a broad nib. Um, I adore this, um, this Kaveco Sport. I, but I also like the, I also like the iridescent pearl one. I like the frosted coconut. Um, I didn't include gift pens, but also obviously the ones that I have been given, <laughs> the one with my name on it, literally my name on it. Um, yeah, I would, I would definitely repurchase Kaveco Sports. Um, I use this one because this is, this was the most special one. It, it got away. Have I ever told the story? In case you're new and haven't heard the story, um, this one came out in about 2016, which was about the time that I got into fountain pens, but I didn't know it existed. And I was like, oh, I would never spend $25 on a pen. Are you kidding me? Like, it was just like, I, it, I actually think it dropped and like was swooped up and sold out like immediately. I feel like it was not long for this world. And then I started seeing it around on Instagram and stuff like that. And, um, I was like, oh my God, I love that pen. But it was after, it was after the hullabaloo had died down. And then one day Colt Pens had some of these on their website for sale and I went to buy it. Somebody, somebody told me about it or I read about it on like social media somewhere. Um, and I went to go buy, it. I went to go snap it up and my boss came out to talk to me. She never came out of her office to talk to me, but she came out of her office to talk to me at the exact moment I was buying it. And, um, I got cart jacked and then it was gone. It was gone. My, I'd lost, I'd lost my, um, chance and I was really sad about it. And I was like looking on Reddit. I was looking on eBay. I was looking everywhere to see if I could find one. Like 
Rachel at Goulet Pens had like shown off her collection and like showed this one off. I was like, oh, I don't use this one so much. And I'm like, no, how could you not use that one so much? It's beautiful. I love it. It's my favorite of my Kaveco sports. It's like such an interesting color. It's just beautiful. And one day, like I talked about it so much. One day, um, somebody on Instagram uh, sent me a DM and was like, hey, these are on Amazon. (laughs) And I immediately went to Amazon and found it and purchased it and then I had my co-worker who was also into pens and really had like a nice Kaveco collection I was like hey this was limit limited edition um it's on Amazon it's a reason it was a reasonable it was like a normal price too it wasn't like it was like a price gouge um it was just a normal price and it's like they found it in the back room somewhere I was like oh hey we'll put these on Amazon for sale so I got one and then my co-worker got one so we both have the pretty purple Kaveco sports and I love it and it was the pen that got away and then and then it was the pen that I got and then I switched my holy grail from this one to this one and now I have I don't have a grail pen right now at the moment um which is kind of nice I guess but also nothing to strive for I guess I don't know anyway moving along another pen that I would definitely repurchase is my Pro Gear, my Pro Gear, my Sailor Pro Gear Angel's Delight. I would marry this pen in a heartbeat. I love it. I keep it usually inked with um, Sailor Monyo Kuzu because I just think that it, I like the combination. I wish that I had a purple that I liked with it, but I just love the red of this body so much and it just, I don't know, it just works. This works. Is there ink in here? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I still have ink in here. Oh yeah, I do. It's just, it's pretty saturated though. It's gonna sheen like a mofo, but yeah, I just, I love the nib. It's, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, I just love it. This is my, this is the pro gear, the first pro gear I had. Another honorable mention, I didn't grab it, is probably my pro gear slim, the purple Cosmos. I love that pen too. And that was the first, that was the first Sailor pro gear of any size that I ever got and I would definitely repurchase that one I prefer the size of the pro gear it's a little like the the section is a little more comfortable for me and yeah I prefer the size of the pro gear so I would definitely repurchase this one um yeah um another um pen that I would repurchase is the platinum preppy I would also repurchase the placier but I've, the place here that I've ever purchased, I've only, I've either gotten it in an ink flight box or I've purchased it specifically because of the color. Um, but the Platinum Preppy is just such a good pen. This is the O2, um, which is the extra fine. And even like the extra fine, I got this at the urging of Creepy Nibs and our friend Melissa. And um, even the extra fine is like so lovely. This has been sitting in a drawer forever. For a couple of years at least because I'm pretty sure I bought it. They talked me into it during like one of our COVID chats and I finally bought one, found one and bought one. Um, but Platinum Preppy, they come in a million colors. They last forever. They like they still have that really good slip and seal sort of mechanism that their more expensive pens have. Um, and it's just, it's a good pen. It's such a good pen. I actually sent one of these to a friend of mine that's not into fountain pens, but has sort of like asked about it. And I'm like, well, I would love to like put together like a whole package with like a Twisby Eco and all that stuff, but you're just getting started. So let's, let's go with one of these. So yeah, I like, I prefer the medium size. Um, but I like all the sizes of the preppies and they just, they always, they always write and they're just so good. They're so good. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely preppy. The place here is just a fancier body. Um, it's a little more expensive. And if you get some of the special editions, it's even more expensive. But yeah, you can't go wrong. Like these, they're just so good. Um, oh, another thing that I should mention is I kind of tried to keep it to one pen per brand. So, um, if it's like, you know, like Kaveco, I love Kaveco's. I also love the Lilliput. I love the AL Sports. But um, I tried to limit it to one pen per, like, maker, I guess. There will be a couple exceptions in the honorable mentions. Um, 
because I know some of you are thinking about what about all your Twizy Mikos? Spoiler alert, you might see some of those later. Um, but yeah, I tried to keep it to one pen model per maker because I have a few like, yeah, anyway. Pilot was really hard because <laughs> there are pilot pens I would repurchase. Um, we'll get to that though, we'll get to that. Um, another pen that I would repurchase is the Franklin Kristoff Model 31. This is my favorite of all my Franklin Kristoffs. This one in specific, actually. Um, I really like, I have the 55, I have the 45Ls, I have, um, I have a, quite a few of their pens, but this one, the section is just really comfortable. It posts, but it, that makes it unwieldy, so I don't have, feel the need. I like the lines on it. Um... I just, I don't know, I just love it. I have a medium nib on this one, and it's such a good nib, and I just, I love this pen. I love this pen. I love this model pen. Um, I feel like I have a couple of these, but I might have a couple of the O2s instead, but if I had to pick one of the models to repurchase, it would, it would be this one. I just, every time I write with this pen, I love it so much, no matter what ink I put in it. Um, another pen that I would repurchase is my wall town Lumley. This I need to clean out. Um, this is the first wall town pen I ever purchased. It has this, let me turn the light on again. It has this like beautiful diamond cast material. It's so sparkly. Um, I have the one that I made Maria get, which is also right here, this color shifting one, which I think looks teal here but it's purple into blue into like a turquoisey I love this one so much but I just got this one and I feel like I um it's too new it's too new for me to be like oh my god I would definitely repurchase that but this one I just love this I love the material it was made out of it's a beautiful writing experience I think I have a medium nib on this one yeah a medium in the, on this and I think I have a medium on this as well yeah I've so I have mediums on both of these this material is so freaking pretty but here's the difference between the Lumley and the, and the um, Katzberg. I just, oh, I love it. The only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't post, so I have to like make sure I hold on to the cap or keep track of it. Um, but the section's really comfortable. I love the ink window that also sparkles. Can you see? I think you can see. Um, but yeah, I just, it's beautiful. I love this part right here, this where it's like, the grape into, oh, and it's so sparkly, the diamond cast, oh my god, I just, oh, this pen is mesmerizing to look at when I'm using it, and I love the little ink window feature, so yeah, so I, I would actually repurchase both of these, but I would definitely, oh, you can see the color shifting a little bit here, yeah, it's like purple down here and like bluish teal up there, so good, so good. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, well, I didn't really forget, never mind, never mind, doesn't matter. I did sort of mention it. Um, okay, um, we have three more pens and a few honorable mentions, like two, four, six, seven, yeah. Um, another pen that I would repurchase, this is the only pen, the only pen that I have ever been mad at myself for waiting so long to get, because I could have gotten it, and I was like, uh, no, it's like, boring there's a pretty colored eco that's been released like i it would just it would be the lamy 2000 specifically the medium nib i have it in fine as well and i would love a broad i would love an extra fine i would love any nib size in this pen but the medium is my first one the medium is my heart and I would definitely repurchase this. If anything ever happened to this pen, I would repurchase it immediately, whatever it took. Um, I just, it's classic. It's, you know, um, it's not boring at all. It writes beautifully. Um, I just, I, I love it. I love this pen so much. Every ink, I try to put it, I try to put like, bright inks in it but even when I put like dark inks in it like or like a basic blue or a basic black like it just it writes so beautifully I literally had inked it 
like wrote two letters and was like, what the fuck? Why did I wait so long to buy this pen? Like I've, it's the only pen I've ever, of all of the pens I've ever, I have, it's the only one that I've ever actually been truly angry at myself for waiting to get. And, um, definitely one of my favorites. Um, I'm not trying to pick favorites, but obviously like I have these in my collection for a reason and I would definitely repurchase them for a reason. So, um, yeah. Another pen that I would repurchase is a surprise to me. It's a newer pen, but I just have enjoyed writing with it so much, the entire writing experience with it so much that I would, I like, there are other colors available and I've considered getting them, but the pen is the Faber Castell Grip. Specifically these, um, like kind of glittery ones. I think they're so pretty. I saw Venice had some like Christmassy colors available that sort of have like the glittery effect. Um, it has like a forced triangle grip, but it's like really, it doesn't feel, it's, it's definitely there, but it doesn't feel as, um, intrusive as like a Lamy Safari or a Lamy All-Star. It's just, I think because it's like smooth, I don't know. It's just, the grip's real nice. I have, I've had this permanently inked with Sailor Wisconsin since I got it. I just, I thought, I actually cleaned it out once and was like, I'm going to put something else in it. I'm like, no, I can't. I need Sailor Wisconsin in it. So this is my Sailor Wisconsin pen. I have it in a few other colors because there were like three different colors of this, um, of this finish and I couldn't decide so I just bought all of them because they were pretty cheap and I just yeah I think there's I think there's ink in it it's just it's a medium nib it's just it's it's lovely I love it so much and this ink is beautiful and I just mm. yes I would definitely repurchase this again I, I I'm late to the party on these because they've had other color like Specifically, I'm drawn to the colors. Like if it's a, I'm not buying all of them. If it's an ugly color, I'm not going to get it or a color that I don't care for. I'm not going to get it. But, you know, they came out with these and I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. Like whatever. And it's just, it's, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. I actually got these because I got the Hexo and I love the Hexo. I have a broad nib on this one and I love the Hexo a whole lot. And I just love that so I was okay trying that nib again and I just would I put repurchase the hexo again yeah probably I would but I just everything about this combination is just like singing to my heart okay so two four six eight nine so the last pen that I would definitely repurchase before I get to honorable mentions is um an offering from Pilot. And I really struggled with Pilot. So I was like, I would definitely repurchase Pilot pens, but like, which one should be the one? Um, is it the Prera? I love the Prera. I have a couple of them. I love the Click. I love the way it writes. Would it be the Kakuno? Like they're, they're inexpensive. They're really cute. They come in some fun colors. Um, the nibs are amazing. Um, would it be the Vanishing Point? I have quite a collection of Vanishing Points. Would it be that? Would it be the Custom 74? Would it be the Custom 823? I love the, I love the 823. And my 74 is like, okay. But like, yeah, which one is it? Well, it would be the Pilot Falcon. I love this pen. Specifically, the nib is like different. Like the... Uh, I don't know if I have any ink in here. I have like barely any ink in here. There's a little ink in here, but it's just, mm, mm, I just love it. Every ink I ever put in here just looks phenomenal. There's excellent shading. Um, yeah, I've had, I've had like flashy inks in here. I've had the nib is so smooth. It's so beautiful. I love the line variations that, that you get just with even regular writing. I'm like not even, not even like trying to like flex it out a little bit. It's just, I love the writing experience of the Pilot Falcon. Um, this was a, uh, Countess made me do it because I know that, um, she loves hers. And, um, I bought it right before they, um, increase the price and release the blue and purple ones the purple one 
I would definitely not ever purchase. The purple or the blue one. I don't, I don't like that shade of purple. I don't like that shade of blue. I would get it in the black. The only thing that could make the black one better is if it had rose gold trim. Like if there was a black rose gold. And I, I have the medium. It's a soft medium. I would love to try a soft fine. And I would also love to try the soft broad. I almost bought the soft broad. But I was like, I better go with medium. Like, I'm a medium girl. Like, medium's my thing. Um, I'm a medium too broad girl. But, like, medium is my jam. Like, if I don't know what nib to get, it's a medium. Um, Pearl, what are you doing? I have to fill Pearl's food dish. Um, Yeah. But the Pilot Falcon. The Pilot Falcon. So, these are the top 10 pens that I would repurchase in a heartbeat if I were starting over. Like, I would just, yeah, I would, I would buy these all up. Um, I would definitely also purchase the Prayer. I would purchase, I would purchase other pens that are in my collection. But these are the ones that when I sat down to think about it and make the list and really think about why I would repurchase them. It just made sense. So, yeah. So these are the ones. These are the ones I would repurchase. Honorable mentions. Um, I would also definitely, I didn't want to make it like an 11 pen thing, but I would also definitely purchase any of my Pelicans. Um, I have amassed quite the collection of the 205s. I have quite a few 600, 605s. I have one 800, or well, it's an 805. Um, 600 is my favorite size. I have a 400. 600 is my favorite size, but I love the bounciness of these steel nibs. Like, I just... Do I have ink in here? I don't think. Do I have enough ink to, like, write something? I do. It's just... This is the first one I bought, the Amethyst. And it's just... It's everything. I just love it so much. Um, and this one has an extra fine on it, I think. Yeah. Even this extra fine, it's just so pretty. I don't know what ink I have in here, but it's just, you can get line variation. It's just, oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. So yeah, so honorable mention goes to any of my Pelicans. Um, and also, Let me grab all the ones that are sitting here. These are just the ones that are sitting on my table, okay? My Twisby Ecos. I would repurchase any of my Twisby Ecos. I love this pen. I love the ink capacity. I love the nibs. Um, the only thing that I don't like is when I've swapped nibs, I've cracked sections. I've done it twice. I've swapped nibs twice, and I've cracked sections both times, so that is not a thing that I would do. I'd rather just buy another pen in another color. Um, but yeah, any of my Twisby Ecos, I would 1,000% purchase again. I have quite the extensive collection. I would rebuild the collection if anything happened to it. I would, I would, yeah, I love, I love the Ecos. I love, I love them. I love them. Clearly, I love the purple ones. Um, for those of you who don't know, the um, when I purchased, when the purple ones came out, I couldn't decide on a nib size, so I bought a medium and a broad, and then I loved the color of the transparent purple so much. It's just, it's the perfect, it's the perfect shade of purple in my opinion. Um, uh, three of my friends ended up completing the collection, so I have all of the nib sizes. So I have the stub, the extra fine, the fine, medium, broad. I have all the nib sizes in my purple Twisby Ecos, and um very kind and generous. Um, my collection of Twisby Ecos is not complete. There is one a standard one that's missing that I've been told not to purchase. So I will not be purchasing it. And then there's that Sunset Orange, that one that got away. Because I was scared to purchase from um, an international shop. Because I think you had to like email them and PayPal. And I was worried it wouldn't work. And I just... Yeah. It's the only one. It's the only one that's gotten away. That I would... That I would love to find at some point but yeah twisby ecos honorable mention because clearly clearly i have a thing for them so yeah so let me know 
Do you agree with any of these pens? Do you Are there any of these that you wish that you'd gotten or that um, made it to your list as well? Um, I'd love to hear. Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to go catch up on some of these videos now because... Let me like move out of the way. Turn the light on so you can see them in another light. Mm. I love them so much. Oh no, that's too bright. I'm playing with my lamp. Oh, maybe that's a little better. Oh, that's a little nicer. We'll see. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, something a little different after like daily ink videos. Um, I will be doing a pens that I would not repurchase video as well, but I want to make sure that the editing for this one goes smoothly. Um, yeah, because I'm going to have to get it onto a different computer and also try out a different editing software. There wasn't much to edit out of here, though, to be honest, so maybe I'll just upload it and see what happens. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've had a lovely holiday, a lovely Christmas, a lovely Hanukkah, a lovely Kwanzaa, a lovely Yule, a lovely Solstice, a lovely whatever you celebrate, Festivus for the rest of us. Um, yeah. Yeah, this was a fun video to do. Um, kind of chatty. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like I said, um, yeah. Are any of these on your repurchase list? Are any of these not on your repurchase list? Are any of these on your would not repurchase list? Let me know in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you. And um, yeah, um, I would purchase other colors other than purple. I just feel like I need to say. Um, <laughs> The purple ones seem to be the most special to me, but yeah, I would definitely, if this came in a different color, I would purchase it. Oh, like a pink, oh my God, like a hot pink. Um, and honestly, this is just a stand in for basically every Kaveco sport I have. Um, yeah. And then this is also like a stand in for, well, this is like a specific, this is a stand in for a couple of them. Uh, oh, hi. Hi, Pearl. All right. We're getting a Pearl appearance. Pearl, Pearl, which pens would you buy? Would you buy any of these, Miss P? She's like, no, I just wanna, I just wanna, oh, that's a paw, it's a paw, hi paw. Hi, touch your toes, touch your toes, hi. All right, and now she's done. <laughs> so yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Oh no, she's coming back, hi. Hello, oh, thanks. Thank you for, thank you for giving the camera a hug. Thank you, thank you, Miss P, thanks. Okay, I guess I gotta go pay attention to Pearl now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon with another video. Take care. Bye!